was Daniel Ray. Hello and welcome to Condition by Kia. So today is day six out of 10 where I am testing out the 10 day Daniel fast. I am testing out the spiritual side as well as the physical side to see if I can get stronger with just eating fruits, vegetables, and drinking water. So, so today's focus is all about how to push your cravings aside. Now, when you are fasting or dieting or changing your lifestyle habits and just changing the way you eat altogether, it is very easy to get into those cravings because all of a sudden your brain is like, now that you can't have it, you want it. And that's usually just a mental trick, a mental thing for your brain that you have to tell yourself, no, I do not want this. You have to really tell yourself and you have to really believe that you don't want that thing that you're craving. The hard part is when it comes to sugar, because sugar is what your brain becomes addicted to. And the sugar can come from carbs, it can come from junk food, it can come from just straight having sugar with your coffee or just honey with whatever you like to eat honey with. Um, but the important thing is that you tell yourself that you're not going to eat those things and they're not good for you. And you have to get it into your brain by telling yourself first. So one tip I've learned so far in this fast is the fact that if you are somebody who really loves carbs and you just feel that crash from not having enough carbs and not having enough sugar, potatoes and brown rice are such a good go-to because they're starchy vegetables and they still give you that same effect because vegetables in themselves are a source of a carbohydrate. They're just a healthier carbohydrate. So if you can incorporate potatoes, brown rice, quinoa, and grains like oats, that is amazing. And you're gonna be able to help yourself get rid of that craving for carbs just by eating those things. So my next tip is if you are craving sugary sources like cookies or just sweets that you like, the best thing you can really do is to make an alternative and to have that prepped and ready or just have something that you know you can make on the go. So if you really like sweets, then definitely go for some fruit because fruit is gonna be the natural sweet. So you can make fruit smoothies, you can have fruit snacks. Um, fruit is the best way to go because it's gonna give you that healthy sweet and you're gonna be able to curb that craving for sugar. So today's Bible verse is going to be in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. And it says, The temptations in your life are no different than what, from what others experience, and God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, He will show you a way out so that you can endure. So now, I like this passage in reference to the fast because of the fact that if there is temptation, He will give you a way to endure. So just like those tips that I just mentioned, um, if you really want carbs, you can always have potatoes, quinoa, brown rice, because they grow from plants. If you really like sugar, God gives you a way out of that because fruit is sweet and fruit is good for you. Um, and that also on the spiritual side, whatever temptations you are facing, just pray to God and God will answer you in your heart and you will feel it and that will be between you and God. All right, and so as for the nutrition part of my day, I started off with my typical bowl of oatmeal, which is uh, one cup of oats, one cup of berries, and a scoop of peanut butter, which is just peanuts and sea salt. And then for lunch, what I had was I cut up some potatoes super small, I sauteed them with some water and just a slight bit of oil so it didn't stick on the bottom of the pan. And I put that with some mixed vegetables, some black beans, some spices, and then after I put it all on my plate, I topped it with some avocado and some green onion. And then for dinner, I pretty much just went a little easier. I had a bowl of edamame, and then I had some cauliflower and broccoli kind of on the plate there. And then as well as a dessert of some cantaloupe or melon. Um, but just a fun little side note, edamame is actually really loaded with protein. So if you are craving protein, edamame is actually really good to go through. So for today's workout, I'm gonna be using a set of dumbbells and a set of cables as well as my yoga blocks for my makeshift bench press. Remember, you can also use a yoga mat or a foam roller in place of that as well. But how I'm gonna roll out is I'm gonna do a chest move with a tricep move, superset that until I reach three to four sets, then jump to the next one until I get all eight exercises. But feel free to join along. 
If not, feel free to write down this workout to do it on your own time later. All right, so this workout, I'm gonna be using mostly cables. This one is gonna be the upward cable chest bias. So step on the cable, walk through, give it a lean forward, bring it up, let it might touch something, and bring it back down. Keep it cable upward chest block. Under the cable kickbacks, so stepping on the cable with my front foot, bring my elbows up, and keeping it back, resisting the pull on the return. So it's a slow return. I'm going to say standing cable chest fly. I'm going to do 10 together and alternating. If you're doing cables, make sure it's enough tension that by number 10 you're feeling the burn within your muscles. And when I alternate, I bring both arms together and one arm goes back at a time. This one is the alternating dumbbell chest fly. So both arms up on top in front of the chest. One arm drops and brings it back up. This one uses your core to brace as well as your shoulder to stabilize and your chest to fly. This one is going to be like cross shoulder tricep extension. Start with your dumbbell, center it above your chest, drop it down to your opposite shoulder, and then bring it back up to that same position without locking out your elbow. Switch to the other side. These ones are going to be balanced plank step ins. Shifting the weight over so I hold my plank form, drop, flex the tricep, bring it up, flexing the tricep, and bringing it up. This one is going to be a dumbbell tricep press. Starting with the dumbbells locked together above the chest line, dropping it in front of your chest, and then bringing it back, 
keeping that in the same line and keeping the dumbbells together. Thank you so much for joining in. That was my day six out of 10. And my strength test is coming up in a few days. Quite excited about that. I'm feeling pretty good, feeling strong. Hair is feeling nice, skin is feeling nice. Energy levels are up. And all around just feeling great and definitely feeling a bit stronger. But I hope to see you on day seven. I hope you have an awesome and wonderfully blessed day. Thanks for tuning in.